I think my makeup looks kind of cute and I didn't spend a lot of time on it. Hey y'all, it's me, Gina, and welcome back to my kitchen and guess what, it is Christmas time! It's been Christmas time for me for a very long time, I'm not gonna lie, like my house is lit up with Christmas if you Stuff. Oh my so if y'all want to see how much we deck out for Christmas, we had a video that we'll try to, I'll try to get Tom to link down below about me versus them at the holidays and you kind of get a tour of the house because it is decorated a lot. There's twinkling, sparkly, beautiful lights everywhere and I love it. This is my time of the year and um, this year's going to be a little bit crazy for me. Um, I am pre-filming some holiday videos um, just because on December 11th I am having surgery so I don't know how well I'll be. Um, I'm out of work for about six weeks so I'm not sure how well I'll fill up to making some videos. So this holiday season is going to be a little rough because I like to run around, do things, see lights, get everybody together. And this year may be a little bit different so I'm going to try to keep you guys updated on my little surgical journey. but. No matter, because it's Christmas and it's amazing time of the year. Don't look at me like that. I don't even have my glasses on. I can tell you're looking at me oh, funny. Mm -hmm. So I know all the basic white girls come out um, September 1st with their pumpkin spice everything and I let them have it and I'll make some videos about pumpkin spice. I am not a pumpkin person. My husband is, so I'll make him a few things, but when Thanksgiving is over, actually before then, I'm not gonna lie, as soon as October 31st hits and Halloween is done, I'm in the peppermint Christmas mood. It's peppermint everything. I love, 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 love peppermint. So our videos for the month of December are going to be peppermint. Um, our first recipe is gonna be another one of those crinkle cookies and I'm, I'm very excited about this one. It's gonna be devil food peppermint or candy cane crinkle cookies. So this recipe is really simple. Like all the other ones are, you get one box of cake mix. I have Duncan Hines Devil's Food cake mix. Uh, two eggs, a third of a cup of oil, already got it in my bowl. Mix that up. We're gonna put them in bowls. Bowls? Boom, we're already in a bowl. We're gonna roll them in bowls, roll in powdered sugar, and stick some peppermint on top. Now I have candy canes. I have a lot of chomped up candy canes. You do not need this many. Um, this recipe makes may, 10 to 12 cookies depending on how big you make them. So you just need, I'd say maybe four or five candy canes and just chop them up. And you can put peppermint bits in your cookies. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the peppermint bits on top and let them melt down over the cookies. And they look really cute and festive and they're yummy. So let's get to baking y'all. I feel like I'm on speed and I'm not. And my feet are sticking to the ground. It's bothering me. So we're going to mix it together in our bowl, all nice and beautiful. I'm not talking because you cut it out and everything I say is important and I don't want you to cut out my important words. The people need to know what I have to say. Even if only one people sees this, that one people needs to know what I have to say. He needs to know what I have to say. He enjoys what I have to say. He probably don't even understand what I have to say. He ain't from around these parts. Yeah, this makes up a lot easier since I... Sifted the mix. Yeah, it made a lot easier because there weren't pockets of cake mix. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because I'll make some of these cookies for the Christmas party because they're easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright y'all, our dough is mixed and it is thick. Looks almost like a brownie batter, to be honest. Um, so we're ready to roll them up. I've got my trusty, handy dandy, little roommate container of powdered sugar. I will throw this out here because you can roll things in powdered sugar that don't require baking. So you can roll like truffles that have already been baked, things like that, and roll stuff in powdered sugar. So if you're gonna do things like that and make cookies and stuff with powdered sugar, I would have two separate distinguished powdered sugar buckets because 
you're rolling raw dough in this and I don't want you to roll raw dough in this and then roll something that you eat, which I eat raw dough, so I don't care. But I don't want you to do it and get sick and then be like, that woman told me to put my sugar in a Tupperware container. So, two, this has got raw stuff rolled in it. Like I said, I will eat raw stuff, so it does not matter to me, but I don't want you to get sick. So we have our oven preheated on 350. We're gonna roll up some cookies. I'm rolling mine up a little bit big. Cause if I'm gonna eat a cookie, I'd rather just have one big nice cookie instead of having to eat a couple of little cookies. All right, so we're gonna roll up in powdered sugar. I've said this every time we make crinkle cookies. If you want them to be very powdered sugary crinkly, you're gonna have to roll them, let them sit and then re-roll them. Ain't nobody got time for that over here. So we are not going to do that. We're just gonna roll them once and bake them up. So I'm just rolling them and putting them on my cookie sheet. Then I'm gonna add my peppermint. Like I said, you can throw your candy canes or your peppermint, whatever you crinkled up inside the cookie as well. But I'm just gonna put some on the outside so that it's mainly chocolate with just a little bit of peppermint crunch on top. Um, because if you're not a huge peppermint fan, you can still eat and like these cookies. If you're not a huge peppermint fan, what is wrong with you? How are you living your life? Okay, now that we've done that, what I'm gonna do for these is I'm just gonna take the big chunks. I crunch mine up in a Ninja, but you can throw them in a heavy duty Ziploc bag and crunch them up as well. But I'm just gonna take some of the big chunks out of here and I'm just gonna squish them down in the top of the dough. It's gonna be hard for me to show you guys this. This is cookies, like all over the place. I don't know if you can see that, but like I'm just squishing them on top after the cookie cooks. I'll be able to show you a lot better. And I'm going to finish all of these balls of dough, pop them in at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, I'm not gonna smush these down with a spoon because you'll mess up your little peppermint on top. So what I do is I don't roll them in a ball ball. After I roll them in sugar, I just flatten them out a little bit, put them on the sheet, bake them, and we will see y'all in just a few minutes when I finished cookies. All right, y'all, our devil food cake peppermint crinkle Christmas cookies are finished and they're on my beautiful Christmas platter. So they are ready for my Christmas party. Um, they are very cute. All of my little peppermints, they kind of melt into the cookie, so they look very cute. Um, and it's very quick thing to do, take them to work impress your friends with your christmas baking skills be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if you love peppermint if you don't love peppermint don't let me know because i don't need that kind of negativity 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 i don't need that kind of negativity in my life hit that subscribe button because y'all know y'all want to be put up videos every tuesday oh and guess what what do you call a grumpy sheep a bah humbug <laughs> So don't you be a ball humbug this Christmas. And we'll see y'all next time. Stay sweet, y'all. You gotta eat the cookie. You gotta get a bite of the peppermint. Yes. Yes.